teach the people about their ways. How to how to walk in life. How to talk. How to carry yourselves. How to pray. You know all, all the wonders that the you know, Creator has. Not be happy. At first he was good, but after a while he started using too many of his enemies. That's why he had not these stories of, of, of learned lessons and the crazy things that he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did crazy stuff, huh? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, it seems like you also had dogs with him, though. Yeah. Yeah. Those had a dog with him, so. Somewhere around the story. Yeah, the dog with him. Coyote there, the dog with him. <laughs> When, when you when you're talking about the the dog days, did I hear you say that a few times uh, over the past couple of days? Yeah. Does that refer to a specific um, era or epic? Or what's, what's the? It was um. It was prior to the horse days. Mm. Um, you don't know when the horse days started. Mm. To tell you the truth, they say it was pre-Columbian, but we have um, stories saying that. The horses were already here, but they were water animals. Mm. Well. They came from the water. Mm -hmm. That's what we believe the buffalo came from the water. Mm. And um, so, probably the dawn of the ice age, when everything started melting, we call that um, call it the water days. Mm. And that's when we set when we had our camps on the hills. And high up on the hill because this was this whole area was full of water. Mm -hmm. You know, if you there is actually um, there's actually teepee rings on top of high hills, and you'll see it. Up really, they're really small. <coughs> but, you know, to me, that was um, you know, that was the water days, and after that, they had then they had the dog days. The dog days are when we only had you know dogs to carry our things. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. We had the women, but. If you think about it back then, you know, don't look at a dog like being a tiny one, mm -hmm. a tiny dog. Back then we had we had wolves, mm -hmm. coyotes. That's what we used as dogs. You can imagine. And then our, our people, like the man, the average man was from six foot eight to about seven foot four. That Whoa. was the average man height. Mm -hmm. The average woman height was from six one to six six. Goodness sake. And the way we, we know that is you look at our old war shirts, they were huge. Yeah. They were really huge. Yeah. And they were meant for people that tall. Yeah. And, wow. And we were kind of, be kind of a shorter, shorter guy. Yeah. 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 Here he is. The hell are you talking about in this place? Talk how big of the. How tall the black feet were. Yeah. We went to a. Uh, on this subject, we went to a. Uh, these war shirts they brought back from England. Hmm. It's been a leopard. They had them at that museum. Mm -hmm. And uh, to see how big our our uh, you know, ancestors were, yeah. I tried one of them war shirts on. Whoa. It went, went past my, uh, you know, the leg. Yeah. The sleeve went past my uh, my hand wow. like this, you know. And uh, it was yeah. pretty interesting, you know, going to see uh, these war shirts from way back. Yeah. And uh, they, 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 they were a private collection from uh, one of the traders. Mm. Traded some uh, ancestors out of them shirts. And it was uh, really interesting because the early ones had the uh, porcupine quills. Okay? Quill work. Quill work. Yeah. And some of the later ones had the beads in it. And so you could see that as it got. Further and further to us, the present, they became a little more elaborate because of the, the materials that they could obtain. Mm -hmm. So, if you ever get online, just look up Blackfeet War Shirts, mm -hmm. and you'll see the ones that we mm -hmm. that they brought back from England. And the tribes were trying to trying to get them back from this uh, private collection so they could uh, bring them bring them back, you know, and so forth like that. And it's really interesting. To uh, look at that and the uh, types of uh, color that they used was all natural. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, the berries would produce what a kind of like a purple color. Mm -hmm. You get your yellows and your your reds from the ground and the greens from the plants. You know, all that stuff. And there's a 
process like that, but you have to have the rights. Like for quill work, you have to have the rights to do that. Somebody has to give you that right. Mm -hmm. And things like that, you know. So it's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Like a yellow paint would come from a, a buffalo piss bag. The yellow paint for uh, crazy dogs. That's where it came from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the fat came from the towel of the, of the buffalo. Also, the blues, the blues it usually comes from, uh, you can pick that, that up around the uh, lakes. Yeah. So, what am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> duck poop and stuff. Oh, there you go. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Duck. Yeah. Yeah. Duck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Goose dude. Yeah. yeah. So, it's, <laughs> so it's pretty interesting, you know. That, that's what I'm, what I'm trying to do. Me and Mr. Bird is pretty well. Can we get a yellow? If you, it's a lightning or strike and all, but you have to really be lucky to find it. Find it. Lightning strikes on the ground, they're circles. Yes, yeah. You know, they're not just a straight strike. Yeah, it's just it's crazy. You know, sometimes they're in the figure of it. It's really cool. Hmm. But I wouldn't want to be standing by one. No. You know what? Right through some. And then the lightning could strike up to 10 miles away, dry lightning. Up to 10 we miles away. We got chased by it in Florida. Because oh, it ain't supposed to be outside in the lightnings in Florida. And we were way out there and then it was shocked. But I didn't see that your hair was just standing up in the back of your head. Lightning like next to it. We were just getting away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, ready to go outside? But yeah, it also teaches you that, that forgiveness. If someone takes from you, or if you take from somebody else, sometimes all you gotta do is ask. And usually it'll be given to you. And that's our ways too. Is just like I said a couple days ago, is like me, I, I, I can't say no. If somebody asks me for something, I have to give it to them. And that's the way we're taught. It's like what you guys are doing here. They're teaching you all this stuff and they're giving it to you. They're giving you all this knowledge for all you to take in. You know, and take it and ask for help. Ask what this is for. Ask what that's for. You know? But that's in my presentation. Thank you, Brandon. Yeah. Nice.